Hey guys, I just got back from the April 10th Cincinnati Reds game when they took on the St. Louis Cardinals. And I did go to the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum before the game, and I got a bobblehead there, so this will be another bobblehead unboxing video. But it's been a, a pretty busy week, so I have more stuff to show in this video. So uh, let me start off by saying that on Easter weekend, I had family from Minnesota coming to town, and my cousin bought something off of eBay. And since he lives in Minnesota, he's a huge Vikings fan. And what he bought, the guy who sold it to him, packaged in a couple of autographed Chad Johnson football gloves. So being the diehard Bengal fan I am, he decided to give them to me. So uh, here they are. I already have them in a frame. And you can see the uh, autograph right there and uh, right there. I don't know if these are game used autograph Chad Johnson gloves, but uh, I like them, so I got them in a frame already and they're hanging on my wall. But I took them down to show you guys. And then I also got, went back to Rally House because they sent me a birthday coupon and I still had a lot of money left on my gift card. So I got another logo banner. Uh, this is the UC Bearcats. You can see the different Bearcat logos the team has had throughout the years. And with the coupon and the gift card, I only had to pay five bucks for this thing. And I am a UC Bearcat fan. They are one of the colleges I root for. I root for the Louisville Cardinals, Notre Dame Fighting Irish, the UC Bearcats, Xavier Musketeers, and my alma mater, the Northern Kentucky University Norse. And speaking of the Norse, that leads that will that plays into why I went to tonight's game. But before that, I also went to opening night, which was on uh, Wednesday, April 8th. And on opening night, to counter the huge uh, fall off in crowd attendance from opening day, the Reds usually have a lot of promotions on opening night. For instance, uh, this year they had the red carpet, which is uh, when Reds players will walk down an actual red carpet and fans can uh, stand outside the guardrails and hopefully get autographs. Uh, they also had the Ohio State National Championship football team Buckeyes there. Uh, they brought the trophy and I think Urban Meyer and a couple players throughout the first pitch. And they also had fireworks scheduled, but uh, if you heard on the news, uh, the game was delayed for two and a half hours. 7.10, start time got pushed back to 9.45, and it ended, I think it was right before 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. So I was at the ballpark really late watching my Red Legs defeat the Pirates in 11 innings. Uh, by a score of I think it was five to four, but yeah, it got delayed two and a half or yeah, it got delayed two and a half hours and went into eleven innings. And uh, during opening night, they give out a Reds team calendar, and I think it was to the first twenty thousand fans. See, uh, I think it was Hamilton. They're crowding around on the picture, but uh, it has different players for different months. And they also have um, different. They'll have the uh, when the Reds play. They also have different promotions during the days, and it's really cool. I have last year's, and now I have this year's. I like going to these games to get the calendars. And as I said, the Reds were also walking the red carpet, signing autographs. But uh, they ended up starting it really early, earlier than what they said they would, and. Me and my girlfriend didn't get to the game until after they started it. So by the time we got to the red carpet, Brian Price, who was a manager, was and the last guy scheduled to appear on the red carpet, was already halfway down the carpet. So I didn't think I'd get any autographs, but we started walking around, see what else was happening. We saw the uh, national championship trophy that the Ohio State Buckeyes won, so we went to check that out. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw a group of people huddled uh, further down the red carpet, and a Rolls Chapman was actually still signing autographs. So. I actually I, uh, went up and I was lucky enough to get his autograph. I already put the ball in the queue, but I took it out. And there is his signature. And Chapman is the closer for the Reds, the 105 mile per hour fastball thrower for the team. And uh, oh, I'm very happy to get his autograph. I wasn't able to get it at Reds Fest. And being the closer, he's always in the bullpen, so I can usually never get it before a game. So I was stoked to get his autograph. And that was the only autograph I got on opening night. But uh, I also went today, April 10th, when the Reds took on the uh, St. Louis Cardinals 
and it was a great game. Uh, not only was it Fireworks Friday, but the Reds beat the Cardinals 5-4 to four when uh, Joey Votto hit two two-run home runs, and then in the bottom of the eighth, after stealing second and third, uh, Bill Hamilton stole second and third, then Todd, Todd Frazier hit a sack fly to score Hamilton from third to lift the Reds over the Cardinals by a score of 5-4. And it was just a fantastic game. Uh, but it was also NKU night, and as I said earlier, I went to Northern Kentucky University, and I graduated May 2014 with my bachelor's degree. But uh, every year they do a uh, alma mater uh, NKU Reds Day game. And this was the first year I could actually go and get the discount tickets since I graduated last May. And they said they would give out a free gift to the first 250 NKU um, alums to stop by this table and I, I was thinking it'd be like a Reds NKU t-shirt or maybe a special baseball but uh this is it an NKU koozie so a little underwhelming from what I was expecting but it was free so I guess it's cool and uh, I also got a pocket schedule and I also got before the game uh, down by the first baseline, you can wait, and maybe uh, Reds players sometimes come over and sign autographs. And I only got one today, and it was uh, Chris Dominguez, backup player. So happy to get at least one autograph. Makes the day a lot more, uh, almost uh, a little bit better, uh, topping off the Reds win. And oh, if you didn't know, if the Red, if Reds pitchers get strike out 11 batters, then everybody in the ballpark gets a free small pizza from La Rosa's, a local pizza parlor or pizza parlor chain in Cincinnati. And the Reds ended up, I think it was 12 total tonight, so I get free pizza. But uh, I also went to the Reds Hall of Fame Museum, as I said, to get the bobblehead, and I also get this little brochure. And I think they have a list of the bobbleheads that are giving out, uh, well not in this one, but they're giving out, uh, April's is Todd Benzinger, May is Joe Oliver, uh, June is Billy Hatcher, July is Tom Browning, and August is Paul, Paul O'Neill, and I'll be going to all those except for the Tom Browning one because I had the 2008 Tom Browning bobblehead that the team gave out, but uh, this is the first Todd Benzinger bobblehead that the Reds or any other team I think really has ever given out. So without any further ado, let's unbox this thing and see how it looks. Uh, the bobblehead is on the box. And it says Todd Benzinger in 2015, one of five. And you can see in uh, this corner, they are going with the 1990 World Series Championship team since it is the 25th anniversary of the Reds improbable four game sweep over the heavily favored Oakland Athletics in the 1990 World Series. Uh, the top of the base says Dinsmore. On this side it says S and I'm guessing that's going to start a, uh, it's the first, since it's the first of five, the other boxes put together are going to spell something. Um, in the back it says Todd Benzinger got a couple pictures and you see a little bit about his career. I read it earlier, I think it's mostly about him catching the final in the 1990 World Series. And then on this side, you see a few pictures of inside the Reds Hall of Fame Museum as well as a little bit of information about the Reds Hall of Fame Museum. And this one is sponsored by, I don't know if you can read it, uh, Impact Promotions. They do all the Red Stadium giveaway bobbleheads. Last year, AGP uh, Bobble Dobble sponsored all the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum bobbleheads, but this year they went with uh, Impact Promotions. And then I don't know if you can see also on the front, the different years mentioned uh, on the tan part. See like 1896 when the Reds were, uh, or 1869, excuse me, when the Reds formed and all the different World Series years that they won. And uh, glad to say that this bobblehead is packed in styrofoam. It's a little tough to get out, but it, at least the bobblehead is safe compared to the plastic sleeves that some bobbleheads are packed in. And I must say, I'm glad to see the 1990 World Series team finally getting some recognition. Uh, usually, only bobbleheads of Sabo, Davis, uh, Browning, and Larkin have been released from the 1990 team. 
far as I know. But this year the Reds are really honoring them by releasing uh, the team's giving out a Nasty Boys bobblehead and then the Hall of Fame Museum is giving out all 1990 World Series member Reds uh, Red bobbleheads. So let me take it out of the bag and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And uh, it looks awesome. I really like it. So here is the bobblehead. You see uh, it's based on when he made the catch to end the World Series in 1990 in Oakland. And the base is a circle. With the Dinsmore sponsorship plaque on there and his name on the front in white letters. And the back of the base says uh, Reds Hall of Fame 2015 series. Uh, and I believe the patch is on here. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. This is a glove. You can barely see it there. But the, the uh, 1990 World Series patch is on the jersey too. Uh, the back. Benzinger 25, front, uh, Cincinnati 25, and he's in the gray road uniform because the, the series ended in Oakland. And the head bobbles really well. I really like this one. It's going to go into my collection and onto my bobblehead page at cincyfanzone.boxball.com. Make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, I got a ton of pictures up from opening night and uh, tonight's game. So make sure you go to the photo page on my website and check that out. Uh, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and definitely check out my website, cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. I have posts up there. Every video on my YouTube channel is on that website. And this will be added to my bobblehead page because uh, it looks awesome. And I'm glad to have another 1990 World Series uh, team member bobblehead in my collection. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Cincy Fans Zen.